friends, it's Jen from Jen's Extraordinary Life and today we're going to make some apple fritters. Come along. It's chilly outside, it's fall, it's sweatshirt weather. <laughs> um, we woke up this morning, it was in the 30s and my husband loves apple fritters and I went to Walmart to do a grocery pickup and of course they were out of apple fritters. So I thought, well how hard can it be? I've got apples because I've been making all kind of other apple things. So let's figure it out. So I found a recipe and we're going to follow along today. I found this recipe from Deliciously Seasoned. I'll put their link in the description. But um, it says in a medium bowl, whisk together. So I got a medium bowl. We're going to whisk together one cup of flour. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, baking powder, not baking soda. Make sure use the right thing. So there's half, and here's one. Right, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. All right, a half, no, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So a fourth, I've got the pink Himalayan salt. It's because that's what we use, but you can use whatever kind of salt, I guess, in my recipe. That's what we're doing. Um, two tablespoons of sugar. baking powder, salt, sugar, cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm, these are gonna be yummy. Okay. All right, so we're gonna whisk that together and set it aside. That's all whisked together nicely. All that cinnamon is broken up. Man, it smells good already. All right, so there's that. Set that aside. Now we're going to mix together in a medium bowl, whisk, milk, and egg. That's it, milk and egg. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put my egg in my milk then and whisk it up. Let me get my little baby whisk. break that yolk up a little bit. All right, we're gonna whisk that together. I guess we're just making sure that the milk and the egg are combined. All right, so we have pour wet ingredients into dry ingredients and mix until combined. Bring our dry ingredients back over here. Pour the wet in. Mix this until combined. Oh yeah, okay. Now it's kind of turning into like a dough. Hey, in the meantime, I'm gonna put some oil on the stove. I'm gonna let that be heating up because we're gonna fry these bad boys. All right, we're gonna let that start getting hot because this is almost finished. All right. I think I need to use something other than a whisk because it's all getting caught up in my whisk. So I'm gonna clean all of this out of here. That was just my bottle popping. It scared me for a second. 
You know, like when it gets all squished together and then it expands back out. That was just the vegetable oil bottle. I thought it was the oil popping and I thought, well, that was quick. It wasn't. Okay. It's all good. Everything's fine, Jennifer. Everything's fine. We're just making some apple fritters over here. Okay. So don't mix it up with a whisk. Learn from, from me. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just some of it's still stuck in there. Okay. I feel like he probably could eat a double batch of this, judging by what it looks like. But we're not finished yet, so we'll see. Okay. All right, let me get all this stuff off the sides. And yes, I know that this is a knife that I'm mixing this around with. Don't judge me. I don't like to dirty up more things than I have to. I mean, it works, right? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's all nice and mixed up. And then it says to add the apples and Okay, so this is three apples. I don't know that we need all three. It says two and a quarter cups, so I cut them up. It seems like a lot of apples for this. Let me get a wooden spoon for this. I am gonna dirty up another spoon. This is my life. But you know what, this is my make believe cooking show and I can do what I want. <laughs> And I'm gonna dirty up another spoon. I have a dishwasher. All right. Okay, that, that makes it a lot bigger. I wonder if I should put the rest of those in here. Seems like a lot of apples. But they will cook down, I guess, right? Let's just put them in. Can it hurt? Okay, so it ended up two and a quarter cups was about three apples chopped up. I used the Granny Smith because that is my husband's favorite. And since I am making these for him. Okay, that looks nice. All right. So after you do all of that, the next step is to drop by heaping tablespoon into hot oil and fry both sides until golden brown. All right, so we've got our oil heated up, heating up. Does not look hot enough yet. Heaping tablespoons. Hmm. These are going to be little baby apple fritters. We're going to try it. We're gonna try one with a heaping tablespoon, but I kind of feel like they're gonna be little. So we might end up doing them with something bigger. We'll give it a try and see. All right, I'm gonna move you guys over to the stove so you can watch that part. Okay, we're over here. All right, the oil's hot, so we're gonna start dropping these bad boys in there. Okay, it says heaping tablespoon, so that's what we're gonna do. Here's the first one. I feel like they need to be bigger, but. These will be, woo! <laughs> okay, these will be mini apple fritters. It says fry both sides until done. Ooh, that one didn't get all of its stuff out. I think we're gonna make bigger ones. I'm gonna scoop these out with a big spoon. Oh yeah. Now they're 
they're cooking. Oh, I think I have a, I know what I'm gonna do. This will make it much easier. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. Okay, so if you have one of these, this is super easy because then you can squish it out. All right, I'm gonna flip these that I started. Oh, they're golden brown. They're beautiful. Listen, I feel like I might even get a kiss tonight after this. They look gorgeous. You know what? I'm going to put some paper towels on the plate. Okay. I'm putting some paper towels on the plate because I feel like when I take these out, they're going to need to drain. That one looks good. Oh, and then there's a glaze that you put on them after the oil drains. So I'll do that in just a minute. Super easy, just a powdered sugar glaze. Oh, they smell good. Okay. This might have been a really good plan. I don't know about these bigger ones. I feel like, I don't, I don't know if they're gonna cook it. Let me get the small one. All right, this is a little bit smaller scoop. I'm gonna do the next couple of them with a little bit smaller one. Okay, this is way easier than I thought it was gonna be. So, here's all I have to say about that. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. All right, let me get these out. Just cook. They look like giant balls of apple fluff. Flip those over. Yeah. Kind of glad I attempted this. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Let me get this last one out. Moving this pan off of the hot burner. And I'm bringing you guys back over here with me. And we're going to make the glaze. The glaze is powdered sugar, two cups of powdered sugar, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three or four tablespoons of milk. All right. Two cups of powdered sugar. Let me set these aside. All right, this is a four cup container. Okay, that's just my little label showing you that this is powdered sugar. I never said I was gonna 
neatest person on the planet when I'm cooking, but... I'm a little OCD, so I'm going to have to go clean that up like a thousand times. All right. Powdered sugar. What else did I say? A teaspoon of vanilla. Got that over here. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was a teaspoon's worth in that. This is half a teaspoon. So I'll just do two of these. I'll fill up two bottles just in case. There's very little left in this jar. That's good vanilla, so I don't want to waste it. All right. Um, and three to four tablespoons of milk. So this is just a basic glaze. We'll start with three. One, two, three. And if we need four, we'll add it. It's just however thick you want your glaze. Do you want to get all of that incorporated? Make sure that powdered sugar is all broken up. There's no clumps in the bottom or anything. I mean, it's kind of thick, but it's not that thick, so I don't think I'm going to use another tablespoon. What I am going to do, though, is get another plate because I want to spread these out a little bit more. All right. Powdered sugar and milk can be moved aside. Let's put these guys on here. Okay, I don't know if this is exactly what I was expecting them to be like, but we're about to find out. And they smell delicious. Okay, so now you just put the glaze over each of them. supposed to look this way. Yep. I didn't say that, but I'm sure she meant that. Okay. Here they are. They're beautiful. Let's cut one open. Okay. There's the inside. Can you see that? They're still warm. There's lots of glaze. I'm going to taste it. Mm. They're good. Okay. That was a win. You're going to want to try these. Okay. I hope you do. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this kind of stuff and please hit the subscribe button below, hit the little bell to turn on your notifications and we'll see you in the next one. Have an extraordinary life. Bye-bye.